When debugging in VS Code, you can use the copy value command to copy the raw value of any of the variables in the current scope. Here, for example, I have a simple express application, and I'm going to start debugging it using a JavaScript debug terminal. So in the terminal view, I go to the dropdown, say create JavaScript debug terminal. And in this debug terminal, all I have to do is run npm start to actually launch the express app and automatically start debugging. Now, if I just make a web request here, you can see it's gone and hit the breakpoint for the home page. Now, over here in the variables view, you can see all of the variables in the current scope. Let's take a look at the request object and say that I want to copy something like the string value here. Now, to do that, all I have to do is double click on the property, and I can go and copy the, the value here and then go and paste it into my program. I could also go and right click on the property and then say copy value here, and that'll do the same thing. So I've also copied the value that way. And you can use that to copy simple values like strings, numbers, true, false, that type of thing. Now, let's actually scroll down here and find the headers object. Now, with the headers object, one reason that you might actually want to use the right-click copy value rather than just double-clicking and uh, editing the value that way is that you can copy more advanced types of properties. So here with the headers object, if I right-click and then say copy value here, when I paste this into my program, you can see that it is actually evaluating the entire object. So we have all of the keys and values here from this entire headers object that way. You can even use this on functions. So if I go up to the next function here, I go right-click and say copy value. I can then paste the function implementation itself into my program. So kind of neat. I can use the copy value to copy these more advanced properties that way. Now, there's another option here. So let's just go quickly back to the headers object. And when I right click on all of these properties, you can see that I have both copy value and then also copy as expression. Now, what copy as expression does is kind of neat. When I actually run that, you can see that it evaluates and copies to my clipboard an expression that evaluates to that property in the current scope. So I could both use this in the debug console. So if I go to the debug console here, I could paste that in. And you can see it's evaluated to the accept uh, header here. And I could also use that while writing the implementation here to help me out. So I can use that copy as expression thing to kind of scaffold out my function implementation. So that's a quick look at the copy value command. Out of the box, it's supported for JavaScript and TypeScript, but it should be supported at least in its basic form for most other languages as well with the correct extension.